Hello, I'm Dwight with The Bug Man. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what's commonly called the water bug. Actually, it's a species of cockroach called the smoky brown cockroach. Stick around. Most people tell me, so we don't have cockroaches. We have those great big water bugs. So it's a common name. Most people just refer to them as water bugs. And a lot of time when I'm talking to customers, I refer them uh, as water bugs also for understanding. One little point about the smoky brown cockroach that we need to point out is the difference between it and the smaller German roach that normally that you might see in a kitchen like this, you might find them in the cabinets you might find them under the sink. Uh, the development of the German roach, uh, it carries their young in an egg casing and it carries it until like two days before it's ready to hatch. If that female dies, the, the egg casing will die with it if they're not ready to hatch. The smoky brown cockroach forms an egg in a couple of days, deposits it somewhere for it to develop and it could take uh, six weeks, it could take six months for that egg to develop where it's hidden, depending on the environment, if it's a good place. But so you, you may uh, get rid of all your adult smoky brown roaches and then have a resurgence uh, later that year or maybe even to the next year. A lot of the habitat that these smoky brown roaches are, are looking for is that it is moist, and protected and shaded from the sun in the warm months. Outside the house, piles of leaf, leaves, leaf debris, old firewood piles. Maybe you stack some firewood there and it's uh, had never was used and now it's falling apart. They love that. Any old building materials you have stacked up around the home. Anywhere there's clutter, like where you can't really maintain the yard, like mow it or weed eat it frequently, they love those areas. Just think of moisture and protection. That also goes in to the crawl space and the attic space of homes. Many times when we encounter these uh, pests in a home, it could be in the crawl space, just inside that foundation vent up on the sill plate, and they hide there in the daytime and they go out in the evenings or when it's shady or wet right outside it's close by that they can go forage out there any water leak in the crawl space where there's uh, moist dirt you know they love that dark cool moist also uh, believe it or not i've seen large numbers of them in attics uh, typically that's around the eve uh, where the gutters are on the corners um, it might be that your gutters are not cleaned and draining properly and the fascia board there behind the gutter is getting a little moist and you just see a large mass of them huddled up in one corner up there. Those places also could harbor uh, the smoky brown cockroach. Okay, so you've gone around the house and you've identified these places and you've uh, eliminated them, but you still want to do some treatment around the house. Uh, there's a couple of options that you can do a bait treatment with a granular scatter bait labeled for outdoor cockroaches can be easily be applied around the foundation of the home and to some key areas near the home. And you can also do a spray application as a perimeter defense uh, around the home at the foundation level. Another thing to understand about the smoky brown roaches is that they don't normally want to live in the house. Normally they're outside the house in their natural environment and they just wander in. So you may get a few that live like around your water heater closet, uh, maybe in the eaves and they come in that way, but normally they're found right up against the house and in close proximity to the house. We're gonna step outside and show you some of these things, uh, where they like to hide and what you can do to prevent them from making a good home next to yours. This is an area that is prone to be uh, fully infested with smoky brown roaches. You have a 
large mature tree that's beginning to die and you've got a giant cavity in here and it goes way back in here some of it's rotten it holds a lot of moisture and uh, things for the cockroaches to live on it gives them shelter in the winter time uh, and stays moist in there and it can harbor a lot of smoky brown roaches even areas that big trees that maybe just have uh, big uh, uh, scaly bark areas on them you see them in there common uh, I've had many homeowners tell me that uh, they had a dead tree in their yard and they didn't know it was hollow but when they cut it down it hit the ground and the smoky brown roaches scattered everywhere which uh, spurred a call to action to their home. This is Dwight with the Bug Man. Today we covered some uh, details and information about the smoky brown cockroach to help you know more about it and understand why it's there and what you can do about it. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it, make comments below, and subscribe for more. Thank you.